Okay, all you happy people. How the hell are you? Welcome back to another episode of Regular John. Today we are going to be doing all the 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 thing that everybody has been waiting for. I know it. I'm going to be attempting to graft on on you know and, and record it at the same time. Uh, <laughs> I can barely walk and chew gum. So uh, let's, let's, let's hope this works. Anyway, what we, what we got is an I-258. I got my uh, cutting. It's about, it's, it's budding out now. So I'm going to go ahead and try and cut the top off of that. And then put it on top of my LSU Tiger. Uh, God willing, that is. So bear with me because uh, I'm really, really new at this. So don't laugh and do comment. Tell me what I could do better because uh, I know there's gonna be, there, there's gonna be plenty of uh, opportunity for that. Anyway, got my shears. They've been disinfected, all the good stuff. Um, going to try and use maybe a couple of different knives. I've got my old trusty, <clears throat> trusty, rusty, um, do whatever knife. It's pretty sharp though. Nice, good, nice, good steel. And then a stainless, uh, which is this knife has been dis disinfected, though, but I probably won't use this anyway. And then more of a what I'm probably going to end up using. So, okay, here we go. Not nervous at all, but I think we got to take care of that top growth so uh, it doesn't impede anything here. Which I probably, I think I may have to take that one. I'm not sure. Um, I've heard on some videos that it, you want to leave one limb with some growth on it and for the benefit of the tree. Others I've heard to take all eagle limbs off. I'm not sure which one to do. So I'm just gonna leave that one on for now. Take this apical one off so the dominance will hopefully be concentrated back on to this area here. Uh, which doesn't look very good. I don't think I want to do that there. Alright, got some good clean green cambium there. So then, what we want to do is I'm going to take it right above this node here. Because I'm going to lift this one still. I'm still going to root this one out. But I'm going to try to take this and save this, uh, this apical bud here. All of it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take it right there. That should be fine. Hopefully. I think I'm just gonna leave that parafilm on there, which I do still have some parafilm. And I want to be mindful of this bud right here, I think. So I'm going to hmm, how am I gonna do that? Yeah, I think I'm going to do it this way. And hopefully not cut my finger off in the process. Oh, guess what else? Also, there was something, somebody uh, suggested the uh, planer. I'm going to, if, the, uh, if the, uh, the cuts aren't so flat, I think I'm going to go to the planer and just flatten those edges out. That's the plan anyway. All right, here we go. Already not off to a good start. Okay. There. 
Like, nobody told me to do this. I'm just going to do it on my own. Just because I want to see where the center is. Hopefully my ugly mug's not getting all up in the shot. trying to keep y'all in the action but oh no I did not want that to happen okay 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 let's try to keep going we're good we're gonna be fine we're gonna be fine We're gonna try it. Um, and then we don't wanna go all the way to the center. I think I'm gonna try and get it off to the side here. Ooh, Lord have mercy. Which way, how do we do it? Just trying to line that cambium up. I hope I'm not going to make a fool of myself. Mm. Alright y'all, bear with me. I don't know exactly how deep I want to go, but I think that's about right there. Okay. Alright, easy does it. My mug's not in the way. All right, let's see what we got. We're going to try and match up those cambium layers. Oh, Lord, I don't know. go with that I didn't get it perfect but I think I don't know trying to get it a little bit better uh, I should have made a shoulder on this thing I think but too late now we're already committed I think I'm just gonna make sure that cambiums matched up right there I think that'll do it. I think what I've heard is you get you have to rock. Even if it's not. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna go with. Okay. So then we get some parafilm. I hope y'all are having fun with this. <laughs> um having a laugh, hopefully. Or not. I don't care. Alright. <clears throat> and we gotta stretch your parafilm out a little bit. And I'm not sure where to start. I really can't remember. 
I'm just gonna go ahead and go with the widest section. Oh, I think it slipped out. All right, this is gonna be a little harder than I thought it was gonna be. I hope I didn't bite off more than I can chew here. All right. All right, I think I've committed to there. that look like it's supposed to look I hope so I hope it looks so fabulous <laughs> and it just wants to grow just like that I don't know how it's gonna do compared to um, the vigor of an i258 I don't know how I mean the i258 I thought was pretty vigorous by itself but I'm not doing this because I want it to be vigorous. I'm doing it because I want to see if I can get it to grow. And you all are going to be able to either laugh at me or learn from me. I don't care which one you do. I think that looks pretty good though. And then, just to be safe, I heard, I seen this little dandy trick on the uh the old uh youtube too youtube also take some electrical tape because this stuff will uh stretch pretty decently dang that limb is gonna get in my way again i may just have to take that limb off i think i am say lovey After all that um, trouble I wasted, I should have just cut it off to begin with. But no. And, uh, I mean, it just stands to reason that this stuff here is going to bind it I think a little bit better because the parafilm does mostly moisture retention I think and then other people use rubber bands which I have in the just recently um, but I think this is gonna work a little bit better you just have to be mindful and that you don't leave it on here i think i think that's gonna be good for now i think this is gonna hold i'm gonna tear it off i probably could have cut it off since i have all these blades not right next to me but no kind of in the i'm i'm kind of a neanderthal sometimes y'all that's just the the boiler maker in me i guess i don't know so then after that, we're going to come back around with some more parafilm. <clears throat> just to hold this on. Uh, um, just to uh, keep the moisture off of my electrical tape. So it doesn't degrade prematurely. Man, this is actually looking kind of good, y'all. I hope that I matched those cambium layers up. Gosh, dog it, I hope I did. Let's just pray. I 
take a couple more wraps of this and we'll be good. And then I'm gonna go grab some foil, I think. Except, um, dear Lord, I was told to let the sun hit the graft, but, uh, and then other people tell me to cover it. So I think this time I'm gonna cover this one. The other one I left exposed. Um, so I think that's, that's gonna do it. Yep. I guess that'll do it. So, uh, yeah. If you've made it this far, thank you for your attention. Um, it's always appreciated. Hopefully this will go ahead and keep budding out. Because the other graphs I've done here was a whip and tongue and I am not I'm not a hundred percent sure that this is uh this is this is gonna take I don't know I took the I took the uh, parafilm off of this yesterday or the day before just a tip and it was it was doing okay well, the tip looked good anyway, but that doesn't always mean anything because it takes a little while for the cutting to die. But anyway, that's the video. And if you uh, have made it this far, thank you. Um, hopefully I have earned a subscription and a like. If not, don't give me a thumbs down. Or, and some of you guys out there that know more um, about this, give me some some solid tips on what I did right what I did wrong um I don't know I guess that's it until next time y'all take it easy or take it any way you can get it oh and remember the best fertilizer is your own shadow later y'all